What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got a visitor from Sportwagen Beckum, which is a sports car rental company in Beckum. And today I'm glad to say that they brought their Jaguar F-Type R, uh, which is awesome. We've never driven an F-Type R before, so big thanks to Sportwagen Beckum for taking the car to us. So if you want to rent this car at Sportwagen Beckum or any other of their cool sports cars like a BMW M3 G80 or a Mercedes C63, an Audi RS6 with an Akrapovich exhaust or an RS7, uh, check out the website linked in the description below. So today I'm going to show you around this car. We're going to talk a bit about why this actually might be the best F-Type there is. And after that, we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. Now, why is this the best one, you ask? Well, that has something to do with when this car was built. This is a facelift version from 2018. So it has the new headlights, the new taillights, the new infotainment stuff. But it is a pre-OPF car. So a few of these F-types have been built before the OPF was introduced, right after the facelift in 2018. And that means that we still have the glorious exhaust on this car. It is one of the loudest stock cars ever made. It is ridiculous. I don't know how Jaguar got away with this because it is outrageous and I absolutely love it. So as I said, we've got the new headlight units at the front. This, I think this is also the most pretty version of the F-Type. So we got an, another facelift in 2020 or 21. Uh, with the new nose, with the like smaller headlight units, a bit flat, weird nose. Uh, I think this is a lot better looking than that car. Uh, we still have that nice grill at the front and the vents in the hood. And the nice little splitter down here to separate it, to set it apart from the uh, regular V6 versions. And then wheel wise, We've got these 20 inch wheels as standard on the F-Type. Um, we do have winter tires today though. So we've got these Hankook Winter I-Sept Evo 2s um, with a W code. So a W index, which means that they are limited to 270 kilometers an hour. Uh, you can go a little bit over that, but not for too long because the tires get hot quickly because they are softer compounds so you have to be careful with them but they can take a little more than 270. Um, behind that we've got regular steel brakes now they're not the best brakes but here from the company told me that beforehand and I noticed it immediately when I had to brake one time uh, they're not great if you went for the SVR version which was also available at this time you got the option of carbon ceramics I think I don't think they were standard uh, but at least it was optional, which was nice, nice thing to have. So we've got this gray car, which I, I, I quite like actually, because it makes it a little bit cons inconspicuous, a little bit under the radar. And I quite like that because it's such a beautiful car. I think it actually works better in like calmer, less bright colors. I think this works really well. We drove an F-Type v8s five years ago um, and it was red and it was this horrible lipstick red really didn't like that so at the rear we've got that gorgeous exhaust quad tail pipe and then this very nice sloping roof line big high wide hips yeah styling wise it is a very pretty car we've got a little spoiler in there as well which raises i can show you guys i think So there it goes. Um, so it actually raises up quite far. So you can see that in your mirror, which I always like, if you can see the stuff happening. Let's check out the engine. Love those door handles as well, uh, which go into... I don't think you're meant to do that, but anyway, um, they go flush with the body, which is nice. Didn't I open? Oh, of course. It's a clamshell style opening. 
So we've got the AJ133 5 liter V8 supercharged engine here with 550 horsepower and 680 newton meters of torque. This actually is also a four wheel drive version of the F type. Does it have an all wheel drive badge? No, it just has an R badge. Um, but it is the all wheel drive version, which makes this car pretty special because beforehand with these R's and SVR's and even the V8S with 495 horsepower with rear wheel drive, this short wheelbase, big engine coupe, it, it was a handful. I mean, it had some trouble putting the power down. So having this four wheel drive version is a really good idea by Jaguar, especially for people who want to drive this car every day and don't want to drift uh, their way to work every day. Um, so as I said, 495 for the V8S, this R replaced that version. So uh, you can only have a four cylinder, a six cylinder or the V8. And then the SVR was the top of them all with 575 horsepower um, and 700 newton meters of torque. So now that is actually the R to make it uh, even more complicated. So the last facelift F-Type R has 575 horsepower. Um, there's no SVR anymore uh, or yet. Maybe they're coming out with a 600 horsepower version, but yeah, there have been a lot of different F-Types over the years. And this is one of the nicest ones. So, start it up. Very nice. Um, as you might remember when we drove the Arden SVR, this warning chime, this sound, is the same as in the Hollywood movie film Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks. It's this sound, the entire movie basically. And every time I hear this, I'm like, why did they use this? Was there no one at Jaguar who thought, oh, that sounds a bit like that movie tune. Anyway, um, I'll close the door so it stops. Yeah, so interior wise, we've got a very nice interior. I have to say that I do think that Jaguar have done a great job updating this interior because it still feels kind of fresh and this is a 2018 car uh, this all looks super nice with these buttons with the push to get your seats heated or cooled that's very nice and then we've got this touchscreen menu which oh that that's actually quite responsive that's not bad that's actually not bad um, okay so dynamic mode and we can set up my dynamic so you can choose the engine the steering the uh, suspension and the gearbox i mean yeah it's not bad actually i i like the fact that they have updated it while still keeping this very nice center console with a couple of new buttons there traction control in here we'll turn that off again <laughs> with that same sound so we've got an all aluminium car basically, um, which makes it relatively light, 1665 kilos, I think. And 1750 for the convertible. Oh, that is a lovely sound. Okay, let's hit the little tunnel here. And you can actually control the crackles with your right foot. So if you hit the throttle at the right time, uh, it will crackle away. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice. So with the all wheel drive system, they have actually done that perfectly because it still feels like a rear wheel drive car. It still has that same character that shines through, that, that tail happy character. But as soon as you start sliding, 
it will send power to the front wheels and sort of pull you out of the slide instead of being you know too safe it is actually a very rear wheel drive biased system and it just means that the car is more usable much more usable which of course is great it's also a shame because i quite liked the the crazy character of the rear wheel drive f-types the just go sideways any anywhere and everywhere character that they have so instead of being unusable in rain or even these colder slightly damp conditions um, this car is very usable and actually a lot of fun to drive because you can still slide it around it will slide but it's just a lot more controllable now we do have some fuzziness from those winter tires of course so it's quite hard to determine um, yeah how it handles compared to a regular f-type but I do really like this this four-wheel drive setup see it, it, it's just done really really well it's it didn't lose that character that crazy v8 coupe character it's still crazy <laughs> it's just more manageable all right so uh zero to 100 no one here brake launch a little bit and that's 3.7 seconds to 100 which is really quick so the rear wheel drive version does like 4.2 seconds i think so that's a big difference top speed is limited at 300 kilometers an hour but as I said, we've got those winter tires rated at 270, so we're not going to go too far beyond that. So that's 270 something. It is very quick, actually. You do feel those winter tires. You know it's 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 a bit fuzzy but look at the way it goes it is a very quick car impressive now of course it's been around for a while this car i think 2013 or 14 the f-type was introduced so i have to say that the car does need these facelifts uh, it does need these updates to stay fresh because if you see an older one now that has been specced improperly so not as luscious as it should have been specced It, it can look a bit cheap I do think they captured the essence of the Jaguar Coupe really well because of course they went from the XK uh, to the F-Type which is basically like if AMG went from the SL to the AMG GT that kind of difference because this is much shorter smaller lighter sharper <laughs> oh that sound will never get old so of course we also measured this car from 100 to 200 at the Autobahn and it did an 8.3 second run which is actually pretty impressive as you can see on our list that's not a bad time 
it's not groundbreaking but so i want to thank bashir at sportwagen Beckum for allowing us to drive his f-type really awesome to you guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left see you at the next one bye